If it can happen there, it can happen everywhere. I mean, people are fighting everywhere about my land, your Ownership. land, my land, yeah. all over. And if it can happen here, then it will radiate throughout the world. But that's everybody wants exclusive. Everybody wants to hold on to the triumphalist aspects of our traditions and say, me, yes, you, no. Yeah. It's mine, it's not yours. And it's not going to work that way. Right, and I think as you said earlier that many places in the tradition, the notion of the land is a conditionality of the land, that the living on the land and the inheritance of the land is based on living in the land in a just yeah. way and honoring that land. And so in, in these times, I think it's a... Uh, to pray these words is to work through and raise up those questions rather than see it as just a statement that's true and fact. And that's the, you know, first the cannons and the bombs and the rockets and everything has to stop and then people have to acknowledge each other and, and each other's presence. And that's, I think, we're very far from that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so that's why we have to pray with a greater vision, that's part of the prayer's purpose, is one to be, as Heschel said, subversive with prayer, is not to always take things at face value, but actually, to, and then to pray through it, um, to find a greater vision for what this world needs, which is so desperate for it.